Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. Happy holidays everyone. My name is DJ and today we're going to be hopefully once again finding some items that will find their way on your train layout. We're going to go to O-Gage Land where we're going to take a look at this Scout Freight Expansions Pack. Now for those of you who don't know the Scout was a post-war train set. It was kind of the economical train set here and Lionel has reissued this set several times and this is an expansion pack. This is actually a pretty old set. This is about 10 years old so it's a little bit old new stock that we have here but this is a really neat set for a couple of reasons one if you're a fan of post-war trains this might be a way for you to go but if you have a youngster that is looking to get started into the hobby and is settled on O scale this is a very cheap inexpensive set to get and the neat thing about it is it actually comes with two pieces of fast track as well so you get add on to whatever set that you've already had now the retail value of the set is 115 but we're selling here Yankee Dabbler for $99.99. So it's a good deal to get with the extra track. I mean, some of these cars are really neat. I especially like the little car here. That is a typical post-war design here. So if you're a post-war fan, you're trying to look at maybe to, uh, you know, just add some uh, new things to your layout. I think this is a neat option for you to go with. So, uh, you know, going to Yankee Dabbler and we're always talking about trains. Just always talking about trains. Trains this, trains that. What about for me? Hmm? I'm done with trains. Engineer Hall, I'm done with trains. Are you okay? No, I, every day we talk about trains. Where are they at the train store? You know what? Bah humbug. I'm done with trains. Hey, don't go nowhere. Where, where are you going? Done. Sick of trains, trains this, trains that. Hate trains. I'm done with trains. Whoa. Ooh. Who are you? I am the ghost of trains past. You look a lot like Christian. I chose a form familiar to you as to not frighten you. Okay, what do you want? Ooh, I'm here to show you how much you used to enjoy trains. Please stop doing that. Okay. All right, so what are you showing me? I'm showing you how much you used to enjoy trains. Look. Oh, look at that handsome looking guy. Hey, it's all right. Bro, well, welcome to Yankee Dabbler. We're going to be talking about some boxcars. I know we're all excited about boxcars, so let's check out these puppies. 50 foot ACF boxcars from Walters. And I really like these cars here. Let's check out what these guys look like here. So, the first one I have here is the Rail Box. That is a cool looking one. Then, of course, I have the Green Bay and Western. We have the RFNP. We have a Wisconsin Central, and I really like the look on that one. And finally, we have the Burlington Norton Santa Fe. Now, again, I know probably a lot of you already have boxcars on a railroad. I mean, I guess you really can't call yourself a railroader if you don't have a boxcar. But these are just really nicely detailed. I love the intricate parts, the intricate writing that's in on these cars here. And they're pretty solid, too. They're going to stay on your tracks. And a lot of people like to model what they see on the rails today. And I think this is a really great example of that. Now, these boxcars retail for, uh, where is the price here? Uh, they retail for $31.98, but we sell them for $25.50. So it's a good deal to get on a boxcar. You could get all five of them, get a nice boxcar train rolling on your layout today. I think you're really going to enjoy these boxcars on your railroad. <laughs> yeah, I did enjoy talking about those boxcars. They were really neat. Where'd he go? He was just here. Jeez, who are you? I am the ghost of trains present. Ooh, what'd you get me? No, like present day, not oh, gifts. Yeah. You look a lot like Christian again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, what do you want? I'm here to show you how you can enjoy trains now. Oh. Well, do you have anything now that you can show me that I'd be interested in? Yeah, I got these N-scale cabooses by Atlas. Ooh, are they extended vision? Yeah. Well, these look good. Hey, why don't we take in a closer look at these? So I got the N to M. That's a really neat looking one here. Everybody loves cabooses, right? Ghost of trains present. Of course. I have this CNO Extended Vision N Scale Caboose. Who makes these? Atlas. Ooh. Well, what else do you have there? We've got Lind Air Products. Ooh. With some blanked over windows. And BNSF also with blank windows. Wow. Now, are these like really expensive N Scale cars? No, of course not. Well, I'm taking a look here. It looks like they retail for $32.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $22.49. That's an awesome deal to get on a, on a caboose. I yeah. I buy some. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I know every railroad needs a caboose going on the railroad, so make sure that you get these at the end of each train. Wow. So you telling me that if me doing these videos is making people happy? 
Yes, of course. Even I watch them. Wow. Only the ones I know. Oh. Look at all of these people that watch this show and are calling in to hear from me. Yankee Dabber, yeah. You've seen the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yankee Dabber. Hold on, please hold. Yankee Dabber. Yes. Hold on, hold on. I got your order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yankee Dabber. Yankee Dabber. You know what? Well, that guy might be happy we're not doing them any more. Where did this ghost go? Wow. I don't know. That means there's a third one. I hope that third ghost doesn't show up. I know this is... Oh, wow. Look at this. Atherin GP7s. These look really neat. Man, let's go in for a closer look here. I got this Spirit of 1776 from the Bangor and a Rustock Railroad. That's really cool. Wow, the Pennsylvania Railroad. I really do enjoy the Pennsylvania. That's a good one. Another Bangor and a Roostock Railroad. Ooh, the Frisco. That's a really neat looking one, too. Kansas, Oklahoma, and Gulf looking engine. Now, these are just really great looking diesel locomotives. You know, the GP7 is actually one of my favorite types of diesels. And if you take a look at this one, I love the bunting on this one in particular. Take a look at that one. That is just a great look at design that we have here. And Atherin always does a great job decorating their engines, making them look good. They run great. I mean, this is definitely a workhorse that you need running on your railroad today. Boy, I think I got to try this one out and I got to see what it sounds like. All aboard. So I got this Pennsylvania Railroad on the track. We're going to see what it sounds like. So let's fire up, shall we? No, no, no. Let's see what the horn sounds like. It's actually a really neat sound of diesel locomotive, and as I said before, the GP7 is actually one of my favorite diesel locomotives. Oh, I'm really enjoying that one. You know, the retail value of this locomotive is $319.99, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $271.99. So it's an awesome deal to get on a very versatile engine. I know you're really going to like it. You know, if you throw it in that Engineer Hall discount, you'll get a Christmas miracle, and you'll get 5% off of that price there. So that is awesome. I think you should come into Yankee Dabbler and... Check that diesel out. Oh, this is some great diesels. I think I'm going to have to get some for myself. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we stopped doing the ghost thing a while ago. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Carl. Carl? Yeah. Ghost of Train Future. Oh. Well, what do you want with me? I'm here to show you what will happen to Yankee Dabbler if you stop making videos. Look what Engineer Hall is forced to do without you. All right, guys. Welcome to the channel. It's Engineer Hall. We got this... Bunch of will on steel. I don't know what the UP is, but you know what? It's steam in to come check it out. And I, I can't do this. DJ, please come back. Yankee Dad of needs you. And without you liking trains, nobody watches the video, and this is what happens. What happened? No! No! Oh my goodness. Spirit! Carl, whatever your name is. Is there anything I could do to change my ways? It's not too late. Go.
The trains need you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Trains, I'm coming! Engineer Hall, I'm back. And I'm here to talk about these FEFs from Atherin. And boy, these are some great looking steam locomotives here. Atherin came up with these FEFs here. And I have one that's in the pa Greyhound paint scheme. And what's neat about this engine is I also have it in white writing as well. So I have the yellow writing as well as the yellow, uh, I'm sorry, the white writing. And then I have here, of course, the 844. And this is the excursion version. This is actually the 150th anniversary of the Golden Spike version. And the neat thing about this set is it actually comes... And a really cool box. Check this out. This is the Great Promontory Race. This is awesome. I really love this. Now, I have this engine in multiple different numbers in the black version. I have the Greyhound version in the yellow and uh, white writing. And this is just a great engine. You know, believe it or not, the A44 actually is the only steam engine that has never been retired from active service in the United States. So that's pretty cool. And you can have it running on your rails, but let's hear what it sounds like first. I got that A44 on the track. Let's hear what it sounds like. All aboard. I love the illuminated number boards that I have here. Let's take a listen to the whistle. Oh. It sounds just like the real thing. Here's the bell. That's great. All aboard. This engine was used in freight service from time to time. Here we go. Now arriving on track number one, 844. That's a great sounded uh, steam locomotive, and I really love the whistle and the bell on that engine because it sounds very accurate to what the real A44 sounds like. Now, the retail value of this engine it sells for $739.99. However, we do have it here at Yankee Dabbler for $628.99. It's a pretty good deal to get on a very nice locomotive that's part of railroading history. And in my opinion, if you're a steam fan and you have a lot of steam engines, I think you definitely need the FEF on your roster today. So let's do a little recap of everything we took a look at today. We started off today with these, uh, this O-Scale uh, Scout expansion pack here. That has a great looking three-car set if you want to add on to your existing railroad. We have from Atlas these extended vision cabooses, which are very striking. We have here these Walther's 50-foot ACF boxcars. We had from Athern, we had these FEF. We had the Greyhound version. We have the A44 and the black version, different numbers. And then also from Athern, we had these GP7s. And I really like the look of these designs. And they all sound really good. But of course, if you're looking for something else, don't worry. We probably have it on our website, yankeedabbler.com. We're always continuously adding things daily. So if you're looking for just that right last minute Christmas gift or maybe something to start the new year, definitely check out our website and get those products on your railroad today. I think you're going to be a lot happier. Let's face it. I know I am when I'm running trains. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that are happening. As I said, for the holiday season, we are doing our... Winter layout spectacular, whatever we call it. I keep forgetting the name of it, but you know what we're doing is we're taking videos, we're taking photographs of your holiday displays. 
around the Christmas time. Uh, you're hopefully going to be at home enjoying the time spent with your family, your friends, your loved ones, and of course, the train. So take videos of your trains going around your holiday display. Send it to engineerhallchannel at gmail.com, and hopefully we'll get that in a video, and we'll send it out to you in January. I think it's going to be awesome to see what all of our holiday displays look like. Excuse me, I'm talking an awful lot. Well, thank you very much for a wonderful uh, 2022. We greatly appreciate you guys watching. We greatly appreciate you guys coming to the Engineer Hall's channel. And we appreciate you coming to Yankee Dabbler and hopefully getting a lot of things that make your railroad a big success. We're going to end this year with our rail fan video. We're going to actually have a snowy scene of Project 113 going through Minersville. I think this is definitely going to put you into the railroading holiday spirit. So from everyone here at Yankee Dabbler, Dabbler, DJ, Engineer Hall, all the ghosts and everybody else, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you again in 2023. Take care, everyone. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the
Christmas, baby. 